And here we go. Ten. Hydrogen one, burn off two, igniters two, initiate. Seven. Six. Five. Four stage engine start. Three. Two. One. Boosters and ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. All four RS-25 engines on the core stage and two solid rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour.
five, four. Begun the pitch over maneuver. All three RS 68 engines look good at this time. Three, two, one, drop. That gets us away. Vehicle is fully armed. Stage 1 ignition has been confirmed. Launching Icon to explore and unlock the mysteries of the weather where Earth meets space. Transonic, our buses remain strong. Stage 1 fin actuator system is operating nominally and controlling the aerodynamic flight of the vehicle. Coming up on 30 seconds into the Icon mission. Four, three, two, one, liftoff of Minotaur C carrying the Skysat and Dove satellites for planet. Attitude is nominal. Attitude remains nominal as the Castor 120 Stage 0 motor propels the 104 foot tall Minotaur C vehicle away from Vandenberg Air Force Base. Five, four, three, two, we have ignition. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the GPS-3 Magellan mission for the United States Air Force Space and Missile Systems Center. Body rate response looks good. Now 15 seconds into flight. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle Chamber ascending. pressure looks good. Seeing good chamber pressure across both SRMs. 25 seconds into flight. T minus six, five, four, Three, two, engine start, one, and liftoff of Delta II and NOAA's Joint Polar Satellite System One, making the U.S. a more weather-ready nation. The Delta II is proceeding on a flight azimuth of 196 degrees, just to the west of 180 degrees south. Looking good. Also seeing a good symmetric burn across all six groundlet solids. We're listening to the voice. 